In this video, we'll look at the process for updating a flight system's Gen Pulse to version 2.0. First, navigate to vpn.flightsystems.com and click the download button. Download the version 2.0 full package. When the download completes, you may close this window. Extract the package to a folder of your choosing. Locate the extracted package and go into the folder. Go into Device Firmware Upgrade, DFU, and then go into Defuse. Run the Defuse Installer and follow the prompts on the screen. Select the Install option, which is not pictured here. Allow the program to install and click Finish. Next, run Defuse from your Start menu. You'll notice that there are no devices in DFU mode. Use a small pointed object to hit the recessed button and plug the USB cable in. The device is now found in DFU mode. In the Upgrade or Verify Action box, click Choose. Navigate to the package folders that you downloaded and go into the DFU folder. Select the DFU file for the update you wish to install. Click Verify after download and then hit Upgrade. You can click Yes on this next box. Once you see Target Zero Verify successful, you may close Defuse. You're now ready to move on to the next step. Go back to your downloaded package and go into the Grid Connect Update folder. Run the setup for Device Installer and click through the prompts. Once it's installed, launch Device Installer. Device Installer is all one word if you go to type it in. Once a module is found, you can click Upgrade. Click Use a specific installation file and then click Browse. Navigate to the Package folder and go into the Grid Connect folder. You'll see version 2.lxi there. Click Next and the update process will begin. Once the update is complete, you can click on Web Configuration, hit OK on the Username and Password box, and then click on Connection 1. Change this to MUX and then hit OK. Do not enter an IP address anywhere in this web interface. If you do, you may lock yourself out of the device. Click Apply Settings, and you will see the configuration will be saved. This will take a few seconds. Once it is done, you may close Device Installer. Next, perform a factory default by following this procedure. Using a small tool, push and hold the reset button. Hold it until the lights start flashing then release and push again. Once you see the lights start flashing rapidly again, remove power from the device and then plug the power back in. The device is now at factory defaults. For this next step, we will update the Gen Pulse itself. Make sure that you have the green connector connected to the modem so that the Gen Pulse is connected to the modem. Navigate to the downloaded package and go to the M327 setup application. Run the application and connect through COM port. 
it will read the settings from the device. Check that your UDP port is 161, your TCP port is 10002, and your baud rate is 115200. Go to the Firmware Updates menu and click on GenPulse Firmware. Navigate to your downloaded package and go into the M327V2 Loader folder. In here you will find the GenPulse hex file. Click Program and Format Memory. Once format is complete, write to GenPulse. This will now start writing the new firmware to the GenPulse. Select Program GenPulse to apply the update. The update is now complete and you have successfully completed all of the steps to move your GenPulse and modem to version 2.0. If when connecting to the device you do not see a device ID listed, you may have applied factory defaults before the grid connect module was ready to respond. If that is the case, let the device sit idle for a minute and then perform a factory reset again. Using a small tool, push and hold the reset button. Hold it until the lights start flashing, then release and push again. Once you see the lights start flashing rapidly again, remove power from the device and then plug the power back in. The device is now at factory defaults. Open the application and reconnect to the device. You should now see a device ID listed if the factory default was performed properly. If the Ethernet status says not detected, you can try reading the settings again. The status box should now populate. If it does not, there may be a communication problem between the module and the modem. The most obvious thing to check would be the baud rate. If when connecting to the GenPulse dashboard you see your voltage is not correct, you need to adjust your GenPulse calibration. If you go in here and you see that all of these numbers are 65, 535, correct them all to 174. This will correct the voltage calibration back to factory settings. Looking at the dashboard again, we'll see that things look a lot better now.